everybody, greetings from Sarah coming to you today with a sneak peek at next week's product. And I thought I would show you what we put inside these sweet little Valentine envelopes that I showed you how to make on Wednesday. homemade puzzle. Okay, so I'm using a piece of uh, sturdy poster board. It's kind of got a glossy surface. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Um, so that made a challenge as far as what I used to color it with and what I used to stamp. Um, so on this side I used Memento ink and then on this side I used Stazon ink. Um, and I liked the crisper image that I got with Stazon versus the Memento. It smudged a little and the stamp slid on the surface when I tried to stamp with it. Um, so with the Stazon ink, uh, you can't color with blends or alcohol markers because Stazon ink is alcohol based. Um, so I colored it with the watercolor, um, I'm sorry, the watercolor pencils and then the watercolor pencils and the... Um, blender pens and then on this side over here I colored it with the Stampin' Write markers. Um, overall I like this look the best because it's smooth and it dried really quickly. Um, I colored this one first and this one second and this was dry before the Stampin' Write marker one was. Um, just so you know overall how to color it um, and stamp it if you are to create this yourself. Um, so to do this technique, we used some masking. So I stamped each of my characters at the sticky end of a post-it note. And I'm going to be using the Stamparatus tool for placement so that you can get the placement correctly every time. Okay, so I went ahead and pre-cut a bunch of the poster board down to the right size three and a half inches by three and a half inches is the size of the puzzle die that we'll be using it's part of the puzzle pieces thinlets you'll notice over here the measurements and all of the products that I'm using today for this project so let me show you how to get the stamparatus set up so here's the stamparatus um, and this is a stamp placement tool so it comes with two plastic plates that you mount your stamps onto and they are removable and snap on just like that. When you store your Stamparatus, you don't want to store them with the two plates on it because it doesn't go down all the way and you could snap your plate here or this plate here. Um, you also get the foam mat that you would use um, for placement and stability when stamping with your photopolymer stamps. So I'm gonna be using red rubber stamps. I won't need that today. And just so I know how to place my images, I'm gonna use the grid lines on my Stamparatus so that I know um, that my piece of paper is straight. And then I'm going to use the magnets that come with it. I've put duct tape on my magnets so that they have um, a little flap for me to grab onto because they're very, very strong magnets and you don't ever want to, um, you don't want these guys to be snapping together because it will happen very quickly and damage your magnets. They'll snap, they're brittle. 
All right, so for placement of my characters, I know I need the alligator character to be up here in the corner. And I know I need the gorilla in the middle. Just going to line them up where I stamped over them. And then my little skunk is gonna go down here in the corner. And these guys are just going to fill in the gaps here and down here. Okay, so why did I do that? Because now I can bring in all of my stamps, line them up exactly where they should go on the image, and then use the plates to mount them. All right, so this guy is right here. And now he's mounted on this plate. Ah. And then this guy goes in the middle. Just like that. And now he's mounted on this plate. Okay, now I can take my plates and turn them around and use the other side of the plates to mount the other images. So here's my skunk. Then the little hamster guy and the bird can be mounted and stamped at the same time because it doesn't matter with them. Okay, so you won't be able to see the hamster, but that's okay, you don't really need to. Okay, so I've lined up my plates on the right side. We're gonna stamp in stays on ink because that's going to dry quickly and it's going to allow us to get a good crisp image on this glossy poster board surface. Okay. Make sure you get some good pressure right along the edge of the matting for the ape so that it goes, so that the ink goes far enough to the edge. Okay, and then lift that right back up. Now we can pull the ape masking off, set it on the side, and ink and stamp the ape. And then we take the skunk masking off, flip the plate, and ink and stamp the skunk. All right, now these little guys, we can take their masking off, turn their plate over, and ink them up and stamp them too. And our characters are done. Okay, so now all we have left to do is we're going to use the Lovely Lipstick ink and stamp on our sentiment. And we're going to stamp a few of these little puzzles, I'm sorry, these little hearts from the Puzzle Piece Heart Set. just to kind of fill in the space a little. Then all that's left is you bring in your Big Shot and your Puzzle Piece die and layer them up and run them through the Big Shot and your completed puzzle looks something like this. I hope this inspires you to get out your stamps and stamp something today. 
Have a great day.